Hey, this is Travis with MLC CAD Systems out of our Austin, Texas office. And today I want to talk with you about the interface for PDM Standard and PDM Professional. Oftentimes when companies are looking to implement a PDM system into their environment, they have some initial concerns or questions about what type of processes or interface their users are going to have to learn and navigate while trying to access their PDM files on a day-to-day -day basis. And with SolidWorks PDM, we actually don't introduce a new interface. And that's because the PDM system piggybacks on top of Windows Explorer, which PC users already know how to use and navigate. So if we need to access documents that are stored inside of our PDM system, we simply just go to Windows Explorer, click on our PDM folder, and all of our files are displayed just as they would be in Windows Explorer, but with more information. So for instance, I can see who has a file checked out. Basically, this means who has the ownership of this file, who's currently working on it. Uh, and we can see other things as well, like file size, file type, or even what state of the design process a file is in. So we're putting all of this information right at a user's fingertips where it's easy to find. So we're making them more efficient. They don't have to go and search for this type of information. They don't have to ask their coworker, call their boss, shoot out an email. It's all available right at their fingertips. And along with all the info that's displayed right inside of the Explorer functionality, we have a number of tabs down here at the bottom that give us more information as well. So for instance, the data card tab has a data card with information that we've deemed critical to our design process. And all this information is populated and stored right at our fingertips. So for this instance, you can see that we have uh, information like part number, description, material. I can see who created a part. I can see how much it weighs, how much it costs. And because the PDM system is implemented company-wide, we're giving this type of information to CAD users and non-CAD users alike. So we're really making our non-CAD users more independent and self-sufficient. Along with the data card tab, we also have a preview tab. And the preview tab gives us a live image of whatever file we select. So for this instance, you can see this rod end part that someone has created. And I can actually go in and manipulate this in 3D space and rotate it around. So if I have a non-CAD user or a manager that needs to see what a certain uh, solid model looks like, they don't actually need SolidWorks installed to view this model. They just go into uh, Windows Explorer and they can simply uh, see a, a preview right there and manipulate it um, to find whatever information they're looking for. What's great about the Preview tab is that it not only works for SolidWorks files, but it works for just about any file you'll place into your vault. So for instance, a PDF that I select, I don't have to open up the PDF. I can just click on it one time, scroll through the PDF, and find the information I'm looking for. So with the preview and the data card tab, we're giving a lot of information to CAD users and non-CAD users alike, and all of this is going to speed up the design process and make your users more efficient. Now there's a few more tabs here that are really beneficial as well. We have a bill of materials tab, where SolidWorks will generate a bill of materials automatically for your users to find and even save out if they need to. So for instance, if the purchasing department needs to see a bill of materials, they don't have to go and ask one of the engineers, they can just go into the PDM system, see where the bill of materials is located and just save it out from there. We also have a contains tab that shows things like file references, uh, what's being used in the assembly, and where the assembly is being referenced can be found under the where's use tab. Now the last part of the interface that is uh, very beneficial is the search capabilities inside of PDM and we actually won't dig into this too deep, that's going to be another video, but just know that the search capabilities are going to greatly enhance your user's ability to find what they're looking for and speed up your design process. So overall the SolidWorks PDM interface is all about maximum information with minimal interface. We've really simplified things, we put all the information at your fingertips to speed up the design process give info to CAD users and non-CAD users alike, and help make everyone in the company more efficient. So I'm sure you guys are going to love the interface and the SolidWorks PDM system. Uh, feel free to let us know if you have any questions, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks.